the second round of the Victorian PGA Championship here at the beautiful Huntingdale Golf Course. The morning round was thrilling. The early wave just absolutely blitzed the field. We've got some great leaders up there. Let's see what the afternoon players can produce. You're watching PGA TV. Here are the highlights. Thank you very much, Alison Whitaker, Michael O'Dwyer joining you in commentary here for the afternoon highlights. As Ali pointed out, here is hole number 10. This is Matt Steiger, his second into the par five. It's 453 metres, very in reach, and he's done exactly that. Pin high with an eagle putt coming up. Fantastic shot to get his afternoon underway. Now Ben Clementson, his second into this par five tenth. 26-year-old from Botany Bay in New South Wales. Very close to where I live. I live on the coast. Little Bay, right next to St Michael's and Royal New South Wales. And he'll be used to playing in the wind. That just hasn't quite, well, it's certainly pin high, hasn't uh, made it on the green, just sliding off. Didn't get the best bounce there. This is his third shot from exactly that position. You can see just two paces off the green, opting for the flat stick. And that one's going to come up short. His sixth year as a pro is Ben. Not too happy. This is Callan O'Reilly with an eagle putt. Getting it on its way and just slides past. Good putt though. Nice assertive putt up the hill. There on the 10th hole for O'Reilly. Another 26 year old Newcastle boy. And now Matt. Matt Steiger from Narrabri originally, country New South Wales. He actually plays a bit of golf for well, he certainly played it at the coast in New South Wales and St. Michael's Golf Course. Been around a bit, a good young player. He is, but no eagle there for Matt Steiger. Short range birdie putt to come, that, however. Birdie putt here for Ben Clemenson. And that one evades him. That's a bit of an opportunity missed there by the green into walks away with par. Now the birdie for Callan Riley. Nicely done. In she goes. Biggest payday came at the WA PGA last year. $6,000. And that one goes in. That's birdie for Matt Steiger. Hi, I'm Anthony Crowell from Sanctuary Cove on the Gold Coast. I hope you're enjoying watching PGA TV. One day, maybe I'd like to be a professional golfer. So when I'm older, I'd like a house on the golf course. It'd be fun, I could just walk and play, and then just go back home, relax, and then go again. <laughs> You're watching the afternoon highlights of the Victorian PGA from Huntingdale Golf Club. This is Hole 10 and Mitchell Ankatel. How about this? The lefty, who is the trainee pro here at Huntingdale, loads of local knowledge. And this is his second shot. Massive drive. That is a big drive down 10, isn't it? And he's from Bansdale in Victoria. He is. Originally. He's a country boy. This is Taylor McDonald, his third shot. And, well, it looks like troubles for the 24 year old from Brizzy. Yeah, it looks like he's going to uh, have another go. So this will be his fourth shot into this par five tenth out of the bunker. Well, that was certainly pretty nice, wasn't it? Absolutely. Giving himself a chance to uh, make par on it. Working the moustache as well. He is working it. Curls up at the edges. It almost looks like a photograph. Ankatel here from the bunker. That was his third shot up there in two. And it's going to be a, a bit of a disappointing lengthy birdie chance for the lefty. Stuart Cameron out there watching today amongst the crowd. Just shying by for the birdie. Bit of a disappointment after a, an epic drive off the tee. How good is it for him playing his home track? Exactly. And that's a par for Taylor McDonald. 
It is getting warm out there. Starting to heat up this afternoon. Ankatel just tidies up for his par. This is the par three third hole. It's the first par three on the golf course and it is a beaut. 169 to the middle, 150 metres to the front and it is completely surrounded by bunkers. Bunkers left, bunkers right, bunkers short. So important to be below the hole if possible. The green slopes from back right to front left. The bunkers on the right hand side of the third hole are absolutely deadly. So you don't want to be in there. That's where the bogeys are, right? It's a really tough shot. The green, however, is pretty friendly. The only thing to really take note of is this really huge tier right in the middle of the green. So with your approach shot, if you're hitting into a back pin, it's important to at least cover this yardage, okay? Nothing's bouncing up there. If you hit that slope, it's going back down to the front and it's gonna be a pretty dodgy putt. So the back part of the green, just a gentle slope from back right to left, but nothing too drastic. So there it is, hole three, Alison Whitaker taking you through it. This is a beautiful layout here at Huntingdale on the Victorian Melbourne sand belt. But before you take on the third, you have to have a look at this second hole. 322 metre par four. This is James Marchesani's second. Absolutely peppering the flag, getting better by the second. Not bad for the Rosebud native. And here's a young man, Harvey Young. He's the current B grade champion here at Huntingdale Golf Club. Let's have a look at his second shot into this hole number two. And not a bad effort at all from the young man. Seems to be pretty handy. Not bad for a 12 year old indeed. This is Josh Younger playing alongside Mr. Young. So we've got Young and Younger. This is his second. A little bit long. Yeah, Josh was a runner up on the Australian Masters of 2014. Picked up a nice little $70,000 check that week as well. Did the 32 year old. No birdie, however, for Josh Younger on the second. Local Victorian boy, grew up in Melbourne. Now, here's Harvey. Come on. For the birdie, rolling, tracking, rolling. Oh, right by the edge. Gave it a great effort, however. Isn't it great to have these young players out? That's the best part about this Pro-Am format. Of course, the PGA Tour of Australasia, the ISPS Handa PGA Tour of Australasia is a great pathway of our champions or future champions. Maybe Harvey's one. And that was a nice birdie there for James Marchesani after that beautiful approach shot. Can convert. Well done, Harvey. Solid. We'll be watching you, Harvey. He's got good things ahead of him. And Josh Younger tidies up for par. Hi, I'm Damien Jordan. Hi there, I'm Steve Jeffrey from Southport. I'm Matt Griffin from Victoria Golf Club. And I hope you're enjoying PGA TV. Someone told me that um, the ball is not my best friend and I count one, two, three and then I hit the ball. I like the sound when it hits like bang, I like the noise.
just spotted my co-host, Shura Taft. He's about to hit. I'm wondering if I should yell out something in his backswing or should it be nice? I'm not quite sure. As we meander on up, he hasn't walked away yet. We're still in the green. And he's smoked it straight right into the trees. Shura, what are you doing, pal? I, you I know you did. I was creeping up on you. Now, tell me, just a few moments ago, you are in the car park. Did you go and get something from the car? Is that what happened? Yeah, so I decided it was, it was easier to get to the car by hitting your ball closer to it. You know what I mean? Like, it's just sort of gets you there one step closer. So, 16th goes back towards the car park. It was easy. Got a ripping bounce off the, uh, I don't know if it was a sprinkler head or what it was. Maybe a bad yardage? Bad yardage, yeah. I didn't have a caddy, so where were you? My Good. car's in there though, so is it still in one piece? No, I just saw Sam Newman actually like shaking his head. His Mustang's only got five windows now, so it's a bit of a shame. But where were you? You meant to be my caddy. No, I've got better things to do, like? actually. Like, well, you know, prepare. We've got some shenanigans coming on the live show tomorrow, which would be great fun. Hang on a sec, you're saying I have to work? I don't do work, bit. man. I play golf. You do the hard work. <laughs> but do you? Well, we'll see. It was a little better off this tee yesterday, but we'll let you off for that one. It's it's really nice in those trees. If anyone wants to play Huntingdale, the 17th right-hand side, nice and thick. It's a perfect place to put your drive. All right, well, have fun. Hope it gets better. <laughs> so do I. Well, it might get better for him because he'll be joining our commentary team right throughout tomorrow. Two rounds to be played, rounds three and rounds four of the Victorian PGA here at Huntingdale. And here's a beautiful look down the fairway at hole number two. He's a good lad, isn't he, Shura? He is good fun. It's going to be a great day tomorrow. Can't wait to get in the commentary booth. Watch some live golf. This is Dave McKenzie. His second shot. Yes, our stream will be on for about six hours or thereabouts in that final round. Going to be tough conditions for the guys too, won't it? Because, you know, a winner could come from anywhere. Very true. Things are heating up tomorrow as well. Literally, it could be a roaster. This is Matt Guyatt. He's second into the same hole. That one's skipping through the back. It's a popular place today, just on that back fringe. <laughs> just shaking his head. Oh, it's gone just over. This is his putt now. So up a little slope early on. He wanted a piece of the hole, didn't he? He certainly gave it a bit of a wrap. Did the 41-year-old from Forest Lakes in Queensland. He's a funny guy too, Matt. We might see a bit of him on PGA TV throughout the course of the season. David McKenzie now was only exempt up until December of 2016. Had to go back to Q School, got his card, came sixth, and is back in the mix again this week. Bit of an unforced error there, however. Work left to do for par. Can he save it? And the answer is no for Dave McKenzie. Now Matt Guyatt for his part. Came sixth on this course in 2015. No drop shot, however, for Matt Guyatt. Walks away with par. Hi, I'm Damian Jordan from Cool and Gatta Tweet Heads and you're watching PGA TV. Some of the biggest names in golf are coming to Western Australia for the ISPS Handa World Super 6 Perth. World Top 10 star Alex Noren and South African Louis Oosthuizen headline a star-studded field in an exciting, fast-paced event. Be at Lake Karen Up Country Club for 54 holes of traditional stroke play over the first three days before the thrilling final round knockout match play. This isn't going to be par for the course. My name's Isaac Richards. One day I'm playing golf all around the world, just like Jason Day. There he is, young Isaac, five years of age, part of the My Golf program, fantastic player. We might see him around Huntingdale playing this course. Here's the second. Brad Shilton, his second. 
after a really well-placed drive, has a great angle here. Does the 37-year-old from Auckland. And it's going to be a birdie chance. Playing with the very experienced Aaron Price. His second into two. Based out of Jacksonville in Florida. Just over the back that one, however. Winner of the 2013 New South Wales Open. And that's going to come up short in the heart for Aaron Price. Spent a bit of time on the PGA Tour and the Web.com Tour over in the US. That's why he's still based in Florida. Now Brad Shilton with his birdie chance. Best finish last year. It was a tie for third at the Fiji International. And that one never really looked like it had enough in the tank. Yeah, the Fiji International moving from its October slot this year to August. So it'll be interesting to see how that pans out for the players and how many will play on it and whether that will change things for them, weather-wise. Probably not. Always pretty breezy over there in Fiji. Here's 18. We said before that that's the best moustache on tour, or possibly we might have a competition on PGA TV to see who's got the best beard, the best facial hair, and the best mo. I think I'm going to lose that competition just quietly. Well, I hope I do. Taylor McDonald here, his birdie putt on 18. No comment. Up the hill. <laughs> Not bad for pace. It was a good effort. He won Q School just a few weeks back by four shots, did Taylor McDonald. And here's our local boy, Mitch Ankertel, just 21 years of age. Close to the cut line, isn't he? It'd be nice if this goes in. Oh, big breaker and you beauty. Well, he's going to sit on plus one. The cut lingering between level par and plus one, so it's going to be a nervy wait. Well played, though. Just a tap in there for Taylor McDonald. It's a round of 72 after a 67 yesterday. Standing next to me is the trainee professional from this golf course with tons of local knowledge, Mitch Ankertel. You're right on the cut line at the moment. You're just going to be having a nervous afternoon. How are you feeling? Yeah, I'm pretty nervous at the moment. It's going to be a bit of a long wait. Um, probably still another hour before I find out, but uh, hopefully I make it through to tomorrow. Well, there's a couple of spots out on the golf course we could probably go hide, cough in some backswings perhaps, maybe put a little pepper in someone's <laughs> lunch later on. It's not very nice, but we're, yeah. No, nah, we won't do that. Okay. That's a bit mean. Yeah. We'll, we'll play nice for now. We'll play nice for now, yeah. Now, you're from Bansdale originally. Yeah. How did you end up here? Um, so I, got, I started my traineeship here Masters Week in 2015. Uh, so I moved down uh, to get the job here, which I was very excited about. So, um, yeah, I've been down here ever since. Seems to be turning out pretty good for you. Yeah. Now, now, you had a practice round with our current leader, Tom Powerhorn. Power yep. Did you give him any local knowledge? Because it seems to be working for him. Well, he's, playing, you, yeah, he's playing pretty well at the moment. I didn't give him too many secrets, but uh, he's obviously playing very well. So um, hopefully he can keep going. Well, come the weekend, should you be playing tomorrow, do you think you'll get a couple of members out watching you, uh, maybe cheering you on? Yeah, there was a couple out here today as well. So uh, hopefully the members come out and support the event. It's been fantastic so far and a lot of good players playing. So, um, yeah, hopefully I get through. <laughs> <laughs> well, we couldn't agree more. Hopefully we see you tomorrow. Thank it's you. been a great moment for us out here at Huntingdale Golf Course. And uh, we're so barracking for you to get there. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thanks for that. Right, cheers, Mitch. Bye. What a great young man. Let's hope he does make it into the final two rounds. This is hole 18 still, and there is the familiar figure of Peter Lonard. Two-time winner on this golf in the Australian Masters. Dip attending the flag. Pretty cool. I don't know if I'd trust him. This yeah, one's Take tracking. it out. Take it out. Oh, oh, that would have given him a heart attack. <laughs> Peter Lonard playing with fire. Well, that was for a round of 71 for Peter Lonard. And this looks like an action replay here now for Gerald Lyle. Dipper, take the flag out when you like. Oh, he's confident. He knew the line there. He's pretty sassy leaving it in for that long, though. I tell you, I'd almost be running up to pull it out myself. Gerald Lyle right on the cut line at the moment. 
Yeah, it's hovering around the plus one level par. Lonard now. In she goes. Good part. Always a nice presence on this golf course. I think we all have so many memories of his wins in the past. Gee, that would have been a fun group too. Jared Lyle and Peter Lonard playing with Dipper. There's plenty of laughs out on course. It was a real character, no doubt. Lingering. Can I have a chat? Yeah, sure. Have a chat. Why not? Yeah. Hey, can you, you just bump me there. I'm pretty good at the did old bump. A crack at me I there? did pretty well for you know my height yeah. and stature. Okay. I'll sure give back. Nice I will. I will. <laughs> All right. If we can find something, Jared. Dipper. Coming. Did your form dip at all out there today? It was dipping up and down. I, I, I've got to tell you, I was so happy about coming back from yesterday, and uh, uh, I let my partner down today. Yeah. Anyway. Feeling a little rough about it? Yeah, I do, because you know these guys make money out of this uh, stuff, and he uh, had a bit of a laugh, and, and sometimes you don't know what you're saying and doing, but you know, but no, I really enjoyed it. I mean, with Peter and uh, and uh, and Jared, you know, it's just great seeing these boys. I've known them for a long time anyway, so that's always nice to have a bit of a smile. Fair enough. What was your preparation like coming into this event? Oh, I've got to tell you, there was no preparation <laughs> at all. Uh, you know, it's just sort of a, a, a bit of our off season, but. Yeah, you know, to come and play Huntingdale in the condition it is, it's just great, you know. Yeah, just miss the little putts, you know, those little putts. They're super tricky, aren't they? Like, super tricky, you yeah. know. You know, the, I can drive and I can putt, but in between, I'm no good. You look like you're pretty handy at the caddying skills. Maybe perhaps something of the future in nah. there for you? No, nah, I've heard the way the boys talk to their caddies. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not interested in that. Poor Hodgie, <laughs> copped it. Like, you know, do this, do that. Yeah. Yeah. Gonna take the high road instead, yeah. perhaps. I'll just I'll just sit on the on the adder. I'll sit on the adder. The moral support. Yeah. Brilliant. And who do you think will win this week? Who do I think will yeah. win? Well, I mean we're spoilt for choice, aren't we? We are. Yeah. Give uh, me an answer. I'm going to say mm -hmm. Damien Jordan. Damien Jordan, right, eh? Yep. All right. I've got a good feeling about him. I feel like, you know, there's something lurking in there. He's a special one that one. Yeah? Yeah. Is he um, he's trying to crack on him or <laughs> I think he's taken, actually. He? Yeah. You think? Yeah. Well, well, he's got a ring on, so... Well, let's just ask. I better not. Hey, Jordan, are you taken? <laughs> I'm pretty sure they just had a baby, so, oh, okay. you know, oh, okay. right. I feel like it's mildly inappropriate, but okay. that's kind sure. of our MO, isn't it? It is, yeah. Well, thanks for your time, Dipper. Have a great, great, great weekend. <laughs> yeah, will do. Ciao. Cheers. Will do. Thanks very much, Dipper. And he was talking to you, Alison. Great man out on the course today, and what a great-looking leaderboard. Lots of young, new talent out at the top. Tom Power Horan with that 68 today. Up at the top at 10 under par. Anthony Quayle, another youngster, fresh off Q School, 66. Gareth Patterson going well. Damien Jordan also there. Aaron Price uh, down to David McKenzie as well. All performing very well. It's a good, good leaderboard. Yesterday's leader, Matthew Giles, couldn't follow it up. That 65 with a 73 today, however, falling off the pace a little bit. And Marcus Fraser also in the mix, just lurking. Yep, going through. So the cut line, we can tell you, is even par. So if you're one over, unfortunately you missed out, and that means the youngster from here, Mitch. Mitch Ankatel, I know, sadly won't be out on the weekend. No, he won't, but he really did play very well over the first two rounds, of course. You can watch our live stream for tomorrow, rounds three and four on tomorrow from 1.30 p.m. Alison, it's been great fun so far, and PGA TV for the Tour of Australasia is here to stay, isn't it? Well, it's got off to a red-hot start this week. We've seen some brilliant golf. Can't wait to see what comes out on the final round in Saturday. Absolutely. So from Michael O'Dwyer and Alison Whitaker, it's bye for now. See you tomorrow.